Nostalgic case. Roll it. Apocalypse Now is the Nostalgia Case. Oh my god, bro. I don't know if this is still on Netflix, but talk about a really good Vietnam War movie. The reason I'm picking this now is because... Oh, Apocalypse Now. No. The reason... Oh, it's on Hulu. There we go. It's on Hulu. Um, and HBO Max. There we go. If you are an HBO Max guy, my boy Draven is. Shout out Draven for its nostalgia. Still hasn't put out a video yet, but uh, he will be doing there and on the channel thing. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Uh, I care. Hopefully, you care about Force Nostalgia and Draven, or you'll be beheaded. Um. Yeah. So, Apocalypse Now, Vietnam War film, crazy shiznit, and um. Came out in 1979 by um, Francis Ford Coppola, director of such prestigious films as Conversation, Godfather 1, Godfather 2, Patton, um, one of the goats <clears throat> in terms of filmmaking, uh, Godfather 1's better than Godfather 2, I stand by that, I like Godfather 1 better. In terms of character arc. Um, but yeah, so Apocalypse Now. Yeah, so. Vietnam soldier. Told to go assassinate a general that gone rogue. And he has his own cult of followers in, you know, the jungle of Vietnam. So they go through a river. They get help. They go through this river and attack various tigers and also Vietnam soldiers to get through this hell. This horrible place that they are in which is Vietnam and boy oh fuck boy is this a movie um it starts off with uh you know Martin Sheen's character you know Vietnam flashbacks in a hotel breaking the mirrors listening to doors music also like he looks up at the ceiling fan and then thinks of helicopters it creeps and gets into his head. The Vietnamness gets into his head. And just, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you know, just. Exactly. What? Oh, no. That's what this does to him. And. Color grading is beautiful. Every shot is colored like a painting. It's not like every shot's the most beautiful thing ever, but, um, you know, just I'll show you shots of some helicopters and stuff, and you'll just be like, wow, that looks like a, you know, oil on canvas painting or some beautiful stuff. And the color grading with this is just like, what the heck, man? How can you do such a great job? How can you do such a great job? Like, um, there's a million video essays on how fucking hard it was to make this movie. Oop, I said a bad word. Um, but it was very hard to make this movie. It was very hard to find locations. It was very stormy, very painful. And there's like a whole documentary in the filming. That's like, you, you know, movies are, um, you know, movies are like very hard to make if they're going to make a documentary on how hard it was to make the movie and how difficult the process was like. This is like a good example of a really good slow burn because the ending is insane, but it's not sl it's like a slow descent into this hell, this madness, this crazy thing, and how Vietnam War is not a good guy versus bad guy. It is like a corrupting parasite that soups and sees into your brain in Vietnam. Wow, just wow. This apocalypse now, wow. Um, very violent and like the like it's just like well edited and. Everything that makes a good movie, this is, but it's just got those iconic moments. Like, uh, I, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. If you don't know what napalm is, it is a um, chemical substance they use to empty trees and just completely empty forests and stuff and make sure forests are just wiped out. Um, and Apocalypse Now is just a prestigious film, and I had to talk about it because, uh, you know, The Five Bloods, the movie... 
we want to make Nostalgia Case relate to the new movie we're relating. So I picked up another Vietnam War movie, and I already talked about Full Metal Jacket. So I just had to talk about the excellence of this. And um, when at the end, Martin Sheen's character pops out to, uh, you know, do his mission to fight this general gone rogue. This American general gone rogue who has his own cult. He pops out of the water, and there's this shot of him as the lightning screeches across his face. It's on the director's cut, um, you know, poster, and it's just like, that's, that's what I'm gonna look like when I see a girl in person after this quarantine, <laughs> I'm finna pop out like Martin Sheed, and, um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have the roller club of Ch Martin Sheen's son, Charlie Sheen, in an interview saying, like, I'm not high, the only, he's like, the reporter asks, are you high on anything, he's like, the only thing I'm high on is Charlie Sheen. I'm gonna play that for you, and you're just gonna laugh. It's um, I'm gonna play in editing, John. Now, next question: Are there any drugs in this house? If there Put are, that down for a second. if there are, you better find them and give them to me immediately. Ooh, drugs in the house. Oh, we're all gonna die. Again. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I I I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. Um, <laughs> shut up. Stop. Move forward. When was the last time you used? Use, uh, I, see, I don't use, I use a blender, I use a vacuum cleaner, I use, uh, you know. Yeah, I, isn't you know. that crazy? Charlie Sheen's crazy, and this movie's crazy, and this movie's crazy good, and you should definitely check it out if you just want to watch really gosh darn good movie. And, um, just classic, because like, it's one of those must-sees. And it's also just another example of why the Vietnam War mo movie genre makes the best war movies. Um... Yeah, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Mike Media Empire. Mike Media Incorporated.